Next question is from Jamil A144. Why do you think the dumbbell pullover has fallen out of favor in the fitness community when people like Arnold and others of his time used it regularly? especially since it's sometimes referred to as the squat of the upper body. Hasn't but, fallen out of favor for us. Yeah, no. I was going to say, has it really? It's uh, in our routines and we talk yeah. about all the time. Maybe yeah. maybe like PRing with it, like you'd mentioned, <laughs> like back in the day, <laughs> like oh, bra- bragging rights. Oh, back in the day before Arnold's time. So you're talking about the 30s and 40s um, bodybuilders. Uh, the pullover was an exercise that they would often uh, compete with or, or compare notes over. Who can do the most? Weight as a for a pullover. The pullover is a phenomenal exercise. It's extremely unique, in, in in its function, it works a lot of the body. It strengthens the muscles of the rib cage. Mm-hmm. It works the pecs. It works the lats. The serratus anterior really has to strengthen and stabilize. Gotta have good shoulder mobility to do great, it. Great. Yep. It actually it's a great exercise to develop yeah, or yeah. keep good shoulder. It's it one of my it, yeah. one of my favorite exercises. Here's why I think it fell out of favor, because the trend of training body parts became popular. As soon as that happened, oh, where it was point. like- yeah, It's uh, not an isolation exercise at yeah, all. Yeah, like, okay, where do you put it? Chest workout? Back mm. workout? Like, which one do you do? Um, I know Arnold did it in his chest workout. I know other, other bodybuilders do it on the back workout. I prefer to do it uh, on a back workout when I do it. But so it's not right. a it's not a, a single body part exercise. It's hard to categorize. And because body part split training became popular- That's a good point. Popular, that's, that's a pretty good theory. I, w- I would guess that. Yeah, that's probably true because it, it's like a, many other movies, like a Turkish get-up, which was obviously extremely popular back in the days that nobody talks about or uses. It's like one of those things that's like, where do I put it? Yeah. So then it just fell out of favor because of that. Oh, clean and press. Clean and press was how people did shoulder presses forever. Mm-hmm. But a clean and press is like working so many different muscles that I'll just do a standing overhead press because it's just shoulders. Yeah. Today's shoulder. I know. It's day. interesting. They, they didn't have racks where they just take it off, you you know, the racks, you'd have to actually pick it up from the ground uh, and, and then play, you know, press it overhead. So, yeah, there was a lot of that. And, like, there's there's a lot of weird categories for a lot of those old type of lifts. It's like, where do you even put it? Where do you put a bent press? Where do you put a windmill? You know, where do you put all these old, you know, old school kind of – it encompasses way too many muscles. Yeah. Uh, to really you, figure you, it out. Know, we I, talk about this, though. I mean, this is – I the, love pullover. Yeah, no, I, I definitely – maybe we haven't talked about it in a while, but we used to talk about pullover all the time as, like, a favorite exercise. Oh, yeah. I mean, back in the day, the way used to do an incline press. You guys know how they used to do it? They would have an incline bench. There yeah, was they no, had to pick the they had to clean the bar up and then go up. There was and, no seat. It was yeah. literally like a plank, and yeah. they they clean a weight and then lean back and then do an incline press. Okay, so were they able to use as much weight for their chest? No, but what were the side effects? Like, like built their back, traps, their shoulders, yeah. their traps. Like the the pullover, like a lot of these exercises. Unfortunately, people are missing out on the incredible value that they provide because you know the paradigm became. These you know exercises that work specific body parts. That's really too bad. I you think. know it could almost. It's funny. I've never. I've actually never heard anybody refer to it as a squat of the upper body. But I can get behind it. Mm. You know, shoulder, even your triceps, uh, your your chest, your back, your abs. Like, yeah. I mean, it does get. It does Especially get full range. Yeah, yeah, you're getting a great stretch. Dude, out of that. when I was in um, judo and when I did uh, grappling, especially if I did no no gi grappling, which is where you, you just either shirt off or wear a rash guard. Mm. When I when my pullovers were strong, oh boy, I could do snap downs so hard. I had incredible stability. And if I if I hit you with a hard snap down, you either reacted by standing up, which I take you down, or you're hitting the mat. And it was because I was devil, able to develop so much power mm. from a pullover. So it was a lot of function. As far as developing the body, it's one of for me personally one of my favorite uh, back exercises. Um, I love doing pullovers either before I do a pull-up to give me that lat pump. Mm. In fact, I did them this morning. Um, or I'll do them at the end of the workout to stretch the lats, work the terras major and minor you know, up at the top. So, And if you follow a MAPS program, you're likely to run into a pullover. I oh, think yeah. it's probably- programmed it a few times. It's got to be in, in definitely in the RGB bundle. It's, it's in, I know it's in anabolic. And I know it's in definitely aesthetic. aesthetic yeah. Yeah. It's in both those for sure. Um, so if you want to, and here's the thing. The way we wrote our programs is based off of our decades of experience on what really works, not the trends. We don't give a crap about the trends. So if you follow, let's say you did get the RGB bundle and you follow the exercises, what you'll find are exercises that might be popular now. And then you might find exercises that fell out of favor or some that you've never really seen before, Mm -hmm. but they're in there for a reason. It's because they really work. Yeah, they're really good. They show up more than once. Always.